Hi guys, so here I am with another haul for you. I uh, just have a few things here, so I'm going to try and be quick so I don't take up too much time. So I'm going to start off with makeup first, and the first two products that I have are from Astralis. I've really been liking their makeup, um, especially their concealer palette that I have. And I may actually do a favourites video, not for May, just overall favourites um, that I've been using at the moment, just to give you guys an idea of what kind of products that I use. So these are the Astralis ones here. The first one is the Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Foundation. And this is in Natural Fawn. You can see the colour there. And then this is the blush, that high definition blush that matches it. Now this is in uh, Screen Siren. This is not the colour that I originally wanted to get, but we will see how we go. I mean, they're both under $15, so, you know, if I don't, if I don't like it, then, you know, I can always mix it with something, and, you know, I'll see how I go. So, first I got those. Uh, the next place I went to was Inglot, and I just got a five um, palette eyeshadow. Now, I wanted to go in there because I love their colours and I love the pigmentation of their uh, eyeshadows so much that I really wanted to try and step out of... Um, what I normally always go for. I always go for the bright colours, I like blues, I like greens, things like that. I really wanted to go for something different. Now, you guys are probably going to look at this and go, this looks like a neutral palette. Yes, I'm sure it does. But I do not normally wear these colours. So uh, the sales assistant there and I went through a lot of the colours that they had and tried to step away. I actually was going towards those same colours and I had to turn my back and go to different colours just so that I could get something different. I mean, it's a bit boring if you always go for the same colours, you know, why not be a bit daring and try to get something, you know, that you would never normally wear. So these are the ones that I have chosen. Now the first one there is like a khaki, the second one I would call like a moss, the next one there is a bronze, then like a gold, and then this is a highlighter. This one's actually one of their top selling eyeshadows, if not their top seller. Now this one and this one have quite a bit of shimmer to them. Um, my colouring is quite deceiving, even though I'm, I'm fair, I can wear some different colours. So I can normally wear um, car keys and um, torps and things like that. They don't wash me out, which a lot of people with my colouring it does. Um, I seem to just be able to get away with it. So that's why I went for more of those two greens down the end there. And I will put in the information box the numbers of those um, colours for you. So that's my new Inglot one. Then also she um, spoke with me about the pigments. I'm a bit afraid of the pigments. I haven't really used them much. Uh, I just worry about the fallout underneath of the pigments. And so she gave me this little one to try. Now this is in number 23. It looks quite silver, but it's actually... Not as silver as what it looks to me. I thought silver, I just think of like Christmas and New Year's Eve, if it's too silvery, but that actually looks okay. So I will try it out and see how I go. Now, Inglot have an Australian website now, so we can buy directly from the website. So if I do want some of those pigments, so I can grab some of those um, and I'll see how I go. I may um, give it a go and see how you guys think it looks on me because sometimes, you know, you just need that little bit of... Um, different opinion you know I may think that it's not great and you might guys might think that it's okay so we'll see um, the next things that I got was some jewelry and I went to probably one of my favorite getting probably one of my favorite stores in Alabisa hopefully that I'll be able to go to them when I get home because I'm just I've been loving their accessories they're just really unusual and this again is another example of their unusual uh, jewelry that they have now this is uh, $24.95 this little earrings here and they're just called layered stud. Now, the, the description does not match what these are. Look at them. They look very art deco, very 40s to me. Just love them. I just, I mean, they were down to $9. See, this is them there. I just think they're really cool. I just, I really like them. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to wear them. You know, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make sure that I get to wear them. It's how much I love them. So that's them there. And the next ones I got were some little studs here because as you can see I'm liking studs at the moment with my little stars here. And these are the pack of studs that I got there. The ones I really wanted were the bows here. I just really like those. Then you've got the cameos with and it's got a blue background instead of a black one which I liked. And the little roses on the end there I actually already have in black and I, I love them. I wear them a lot. I think they were in one of my other videos. And as if you're not going to use the, you know, get a lot of wear out of the pearl earrings or the little, um, like, Del Monte cubic zirconias there. 
So I just thought it was a good mix there for $5 down from $14.99 and that was from Equip. Uh, the next thing that I got, I went to uh, Peter Alexander. He's actually known as uh, the Pajama King. Let's see his little bag there, Peter Alexander. He uh, started the company in Australia out of his garage. So I really loved the window displays, decided that I would go in and have a look what he had in store. Didn't even get past the door when I just had the most amazing smell come across. And I thought, where is that coming from? And this candle was burning at the doorway. I just I had to find out what it was. I'm not someone who likes a lot of uh, very um, high potent um, perfumes or candles, things like that. I actually don't own a lot of candles. I know a lot of people on a lot of the beauty uh, gurus have um, you know a lot of these beautiful smelling candles, and to me, I'm just like no, I'm not really into that. But when I smelt this, um, I just I had to have it. Oh, look at that. It is vanilla caramel it's just beautiful it's got the two wicks there and apparently it's up to 80 hours burning time now it was a bit more expensive than what you probably would pay I think it was like $35 but considering the size and how much I loved it I pretty much justified that so but we'll see how we go there was another one there that I really liked and if this burns as well as you know what I think it's going to then I may have a new uh, favorite um, thing in my house now so this may be it so it'll be great to go home with the renovations I'm having and then burn this in there so this is actually the box that it came in and that's actually only the second thing I've ever bought from Peter Alexander like I went in there and I didn't even buy any sleepwear uh, the thing that I the only other thing that I've got from Peter Alexander I got off eBay a couple of weeks ago and it is a uh, like a makeup bag it's probably about this big I might do a makeups uh, favorites video and I'll show you that because it's just it's awesome it fits a lot of stuff in there and that's probably one of the reasons why I wanted to go into his store as well I'll uh, just show you the next thing that I got uh, it's winter here so I wanted to get some boots and I'd looked on the website and Whitner was having a sale had a look at a couple that I was interested in went into the store because um, their website is really uh, very descriptive it has the heel height has the fabric ha like the material sorry um, it's really informative so you can get a good um, idea of what the shoes are going to be like and if you want to go into the store you can go to the store so these are the pair that I got and that's the color there they're not the knee-high black or brown boots I was going for but I just really love them and the heel height is good for me because I'm like 5'7 so I don't really need ri ridiculously high shoes so they were a bit more than what I was going to spend they were over a hundred dollars but the fabric uh, the material sorry I don't know why I keep saying fabric the material um, in them is just um, as soon as I put them on you can just feel the difference they're just so well made and really comfortable and uh, comfortable shoes is a big thing for me I, I had issues I always have issues with my shoes so I try to get comfy shoes and I probably have this at home but I bought some while I was here waterproofer in case I did want to wear my lovely new boots while I was here so I've got fabulous new shoes to wear and then like I said because it's getting winter I went to um, I think we're in winter sorry I went to Rivers and I got this um, it's like a knit light knit it's like a cardigan but sleeveless cardigan quite long would go over your over your butt I suppose goes over mine the only thing was the button was missing um, which I didn't have a problem with because I really like the color and it just goes across there's the little hole here it's like got a cow collar like a big collar there it goes across that was $15 and I just love the color the chocolatey color it's really nice the other jumper that I got was just a long sleeve very basic knit there with a the cable pattern in the knit very lightweight quite stretchy not too long $15 both of those were $15 each and the next thing that I got was um, I actually went to the Da Vinci exhibition today and I just got this art book now it was an amazing exhibition the man was way ahead of his time just fascinating things to look at it was mainly um, things that he had invented a lot of his inventions were there so that's some of the pictures there and then after that we went to lunch and then we went to a chocolate factory so this is what I got I got a chocolate cave sprinkles or hundreds of thousands or whatever you call them got that and I thought these are really cute I don't know whether I'm gonna eat them or I'll take them home 
but um, these are cow pats. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what a cow pat is, right? So these are from Melba's Chocolates. Um, and this is fruit and nut. Look at it. Looks like a big cow pat. Because that's what it's meant to be. So this is uh, coconut rough. I love coconut. Look at that. It's a big cow pat. So yes, chocolate. So hopefully I will take those home and not eat them and not have them for myself. Um, I have to put them in the fridge because they're starting to melt. Anyway, this will be uh, my last video with this lovely backdrop here, this generic painting and lamp here. Um, as I said, I will be going home, so you'll be seeing a different backdrop. Who knows what that backdrop's going to be because I'm having some renovations done. I don't even know what my house looks like right now. So hopefully I'll be able to get home and um, either do... I was hoping to do my videos from my spare room, uh, but... Who knows, I might have to do them from my bedroom yet because I don't even know what my house looks like. And that will be happening next this week. This week I'll go home. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to put another video up. But in saying that, please subscribe. Um, please leave any comments. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the details of these colours down. I'll let you know actually of that other colour that I wanted to get in case you guys want to go and have a look. Um, it is an Australian brand, but you never know. You may be able to get them in your country. And that's pretty much it from me. Um, that will be my last haul for a while, I would say. But I will do a favourites video for you. And as you can see, I've got my naturally curly hair today. It's a bit buffy because I've been out in the wind because I've been out. Because it's pretty cold today. So, uh, sorry I'm rambling again. But anyway, um, thanks for watching and happy shopping.